أحبك وأعشقك بجنون Name one above all means exactly what it says, originally called the Divine One. No one is above him, and nothing below him can destroy him. Though throughout the series, many of the characters have attempted to obtain his power overflow from the Zeli Well, the Well of the Gods. Though the Well is called the Well of the Gods, it is only a container for Peleus' energy overflow. Peleus simply exists. When developing the books for the series, said books are no longer available due to changes in technology and other circumstances. But I decided I didn't like how other writers always made it possible for a mortal with limited potential and power to defeat someone that essentially created them, therefore would never defeat its creator. Peleus has ruled the created universe with an iron rod, and his first creations, the mystics, rebelled because they felt as if he should have given them free reign over their lives and not be controlled as pawns or puppets simply for his bidding. Peleus didn't take kindly to this and banished them to a place only known as the Barons. After this, Peleus created the demigods, Asa and Jarl, a son and a daughter. When introducing the pair to the series, I wasn't exactly clear on how I wanted to use them in the storyline. Peleus, when he created the mystics, didn't limit their power and therefore they felt equal to their father, but Asa and Jarl were created with limited, albeit immense power. Peleus' reason for this was to ensure they never gained enough power to corrupt the Zeli well. If the well was to become tainted, it wouldn't change anything for Peleus himself but for all creation. Peleus not only uses the well to give amazing power and energy to his chaos lords, but it is also used to maintain the world as a whole. Throughout the series, after and even before revealing Peleus, people like Resh and Aldous wanted to use the well to conquer him. Peleus was sealed with an incantation given to the mystic Varani by the dark figure, later revealed to be Peleus' sister, Rakilda. While Seal Peleus had already commissioned his Chaos Lords to protect the well as well as the heavens. Known as the Chamber of Gods, the Barons were protected by other Chaos Lords. Those that see Peleus and think he is a tyrant would be incorrect being as he wants complete balance in his universe. Yet he doesn't want to do it himself by his hand being as he may possibly unravel all he has created. He is a Zeal. The Zeli were beings that simply existed, but they ended up having dissension among their kind. So they decided to give all their power to one of the royal family, Peleus' family. Peleus being the eldest, his sister the second, and Aldous the third. The elders of the Zeli wanted to select Aldous as the keeper of the keys of life, a source of creation, but he was found to be mischievous. Peleus wasn't the first selection due to his hardness. He wasn't one to let things just happen without a purpose or cause. Rakilda was completely disregarded because her ambitions were too extreme after the worlds were created. She wanted to be a dictator, but not a leader. Peleus' power is called truth. It is all revealing as well as without limit, being as he is the god of all things. After releasing himself from the seal in the barrens by coming through the celestial energy that Derulian Resh was using, his overall purpose was changed. He no longer wanted to keep or allow his brother and sister to stay alive. I must be honest here. I took the idea from the Fist of the North Star where Kinshiro's father told him that he had to kill his brothers. He didn't and that became a problem later on. Peleus is faced with this problem. Therefore, his reason for sending Jarl after Rakilda and now Aldis. Spoiler, if you haven't seen the latest episode, then go and watch that and come back to this point in the video. Presently, he has created a new warrior called a Zalon. This power was given to Chaos Lord Zilker's daughter, Crimson. The purpose for this is to make sure that someone like Ravager Gorm isn't created again, but more about that later in another video. Well, for now, that is all to be said about Peleus. If there are any questions, please ask them in the comments and I will definitely answer. Nothing but love from over here and thank you for watching this video.